We've all heard strange stories, but what happens when real police officers come face to face with the unexplainable? From haunted morgues to demonic possessions, these are five real paranormal police investigations that will make you question everything. Welcome to the channel, and if you love mysterious, creepy, and paranormal content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our spine-chilling uploads. Now, let's dive into these shocking cases. Number one, the hanging spirit one evening, an officer is dispatched for a mental evaluation after a mother reports her 20-year-old son is acting erratically. She believes he's under the influence of drugs. When the officer arrives, the mother explains that her son is too afraid to enter his bedroom, claiming he keeps seeing an old man hanging from the ceiling. In the background, the officer can hear the son repeating, I can't go in there, the old man is hanging in my room. The mother explains that she hasn't dared to check because her son often brings home strangers, and she's frightened. The officer notices the son is indeed high on stimulants. The young man then explains to the officer that a spirit told him to stay out of the room because the spirit's father, dressed in a military uniform, was hanging there. The officer checks the bedroom but finds nothing unusual. He reassures the mother that the room is empty, but then an older officer on the scene pulls him aside. The veteran officer shares that, early in his career, he responded to a suicide at this very house. A man had hanged himself in the same bedroom while wearing his World War II military uniform. Intrigued, the younger officer checks the incident report and confirms the details. Could the son's drug-addled mind have somehow tapped into the tragic past of the house, or did he truly encounter the spirit of the man who died there? Number 2. The Haunted Hospital In 1998, police were investigating a tip that a missing boy was hiding out in an abandoned hospital. Four officers entered the creepy, electricity-less building their flashlights guiding the way. The first thing they stumbled upon was bizarre. Over 100 jars filled with urine stacked from floor to ceiling in the hospital's cafeteria. Dispatch confirmed a mentally disturbed man had been squatting there. Now on edge, the officers continued to search the upper floors of the hospital, which were filled with decaying furniture and rotting medical equipment. As they ventured into the basement, where the hospital's morgue was located, things took a darker turn. One officer's flashlight flickered and went out, while the others grew dimmer. Suddenly, the morgue doors locked behind them. Panic set in as they tried to force the doors open, but they wouldn't budge. As they scrambled toward the second exit, the stench of death filled the air, and just beside the door they discovered the decomposing body of the mentally ill squatter. He had fallen down the elevator shaft. As for the missing boy, he was later found safe and sound at his girlfriend's house, but the officers left with an unsettling memory of their terrifying night at the hospital. Number 3. The Ghostly Morgue Two officers in Illinois were called to investigate a break-in at a local morgue. When they arrived, the janitor met them outside, claiming he saw something move in the dimly lit hallway. He couldn't make out much, just a shadowy figure moving from one side of the corridor to the other. The officers entered and began searching the building, calling out to see if anyone would respond. Splitting up, they continued to investigate each room until one officer heard his partner yell, Stop! Turn around! The officer rushed to his partner's side and saw him aiming his gun down the hallway. She went that way, the partner said. Following the trail, they reached a door. The janitor unlocked it for them but the room appeared empty, except for one unsettling detail, a white sheet covering a body. When they pulled the sheet back, they discovered a woman's corpse, her toe tag indicating she had died four days earlier. Could the officers have encountered her restless spirit? Number four, possessed or paranoid. Late one night in a dangerous neighborhood, police were called to a domestic disturbance. Neighbors had reported loud screams and banging. When the officers arrived, a distressed Mexican woman let them inside, explaining that her male relative had been acting strangely for weeks, screaming that he was being dragged back to hell for breaking some sort of agreement. He had become violent and even threatened to eat the family, shouting that he was beyond salvation. Inside the dimly lit apartment, the officers saw an elderly woman clutching candles and religious pictures, while children huddled together in fear. 
They could hear the man's incoherent screaming from the bedroom. The officers approached the door but couldn't open it, so they broke it down. What they saw next chilled them. He was clinging to the ceiling, growling and foaming at the mouth. After falling to the ground, the man muttered, God himself won't recognize you when I'm done. Blood poured from his face as he clawed at his skin. The police restrained him, and a paramedic tried to sedate him. Before being sedated, the man let out an eerie laugh and said, Look closely so you don't forget. Was it a case of possession, or was this the result of a dangerous drug? Number 5. The 3 a.m. Demon Call On a cold, wintry night, a 911 dispatcher received a call from a terrified man. He claimed his sister was possessed by a demon and had tried to cut his heart out while he slept. He had locked himself in the bathroom to escape her. The dispatcher tried to keep him calm, but strange banging noises and scratching sounds came from the other side of the bathroom door. The man whispered, There's a demon in my sister's body. I've been battling it for days. Then, a deep, guttural voice broke through the call. The demonic voice growled and shouted at the man until the police broke into the house. When they arrived, they found the woman chained and covered in scratches, her eyes bloodshot, and her clothes in tatters. One of her eyes had burst a blood vessel, giving her a terrifying red gaze. Was she suffering from severe psychosis or was something far more sinister at play? So, what do you think? Were these just coincidences, drug-induced hallucinations, or true paranormal encounters? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button for more real-life mystery content. Stay curious, stay safe, and until next time, keep your eyes open for the unexplained.